right let's just take that but point. there is a question of evidence here and i think we need to look at the evidence i have been an economist for long enough to know what those textbooks say but it's very interesting that there's a difference between the theoretical expectation about the impact of the minimum wage and the empirical evidence in 1982 after a long and exhaustive study conducted by the congressionally mandated uh, minimum wage study commission the conclusion was that the minimum wage is not the primary factor responsible no, for black is, teenage that is wrong. No, all right but that what, was what, the conclusion of the commissioners now if you read through the other seven what? volumes of the reports of the professional studies in there most of those economists that did the professional studies said that the minimum wage law has was a, a devastating effect on was, teenagers. Was a factor, they not recommended they recommended sub-minimum wage. I just don't want you to mislead the public by, t by looking at volume seven, because that was the conclusion of the political figure. But I want to give another <laughs> statistic. Dr. Walter. Anderson, let me just get you yeah. to respond to uh, Dr. Williams' point about the business deterioration yes. being a factor why he his explanation of the business deterioration is very different from yours well what he's saying is that the minimum wage caused it all that if there's any problem in the inner city it was caused by the minimum wage and clearly that 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 that, uh, that is not correct but well, what about his position that the minimum wage did in fact eliminate the kinds of jobs that low skilled young people would be after like the ushers in the theater and so forth and prevented other uh Western jobs Union. For example. I don't doubt that the minimum wage probably has had some effect on the number of jobs, but there are opportunities within existing law for employers to hire teenagers at lower than the minimum wage, and I'd give you two uh, pieces of information on this. Under the Fair Labor Standards Act that is now in existence, an employer can hire a teenager at less than the minimum wage, but that program has been undersubscribed by private employers from the very time it was put on the law book. Secondly, you mean they're not using They're it? not using it. They're the point is that the law now. That, that they're not using the exemptions available in law. Secondly, the bureaucratic well, things between that you have 19... to, do to do it. No, no, no. Uh, it makes it prohibitively no, no. expensive for somebody other than McDonald's who hires many, many teenagers to go through that process. I'd like to give you another bit of evidence. Between 1977 and 1980, the Congress supported an act called the Youth Incentive Entitlement Program. Under that program, an employer in designate, 17 designated communities throughout this country could hire disadvantaged teenagers at no cost. All the teenager had to do was to remain in school or to return to school for a part-time job during the school year or a full-time job during the summer. Now, under that program, a teenager was available to employers at no cost. Yet less than 23% of all jobs available under that program to minority youth and i'm talking here about seventy three thousand jobs less than twenty three percent of them were made available by the private sector so your point is what my point is that the minimum wage is not the primary factor responsible for the unemployment of black youth and that is confirmed by studies i have conducted myself well, what do you well may i respond just to the question of the minimum wage because if you take the doctor's argument uh, further he uses this sweatshop example I'm a little shocked and surprised saying what would the do-gooders do if they find out that the teenager or the minority or the old woman was not working for a dollar an hour all of the problems as to why teenagers and others lack of skills lack of productivity has nothing to do with the minimum wage which is designed by the Congress to put some type of a bottom as to what people should be able to get for goods and services. If the argument is that certain people don't reach that expectation of 335, it would seem to me that it would be in the interest of the country, certainly our poor and our black, to increase access through training programs to make certain that they would be productive. But I'm suggesting this, that if you eliminate it altogether and allow the dollar an hour to work, and it's silly to talk about this when over 11 million people are unemployed anyway, what is the difference between the good doctor suggestion and the slavery system well, where, where people who are in need uh, of food and shelter are willing to pick cotton without any type uh, of standards? I, I, Somebody I, I, has I, I, to do I'm, it. I'm not, I'm and it's wait, not wait. a farm.
different argument because we do have I'm, illegals I, that come into the country I'm, doing just that. I'm not even and we do have migrant laborers doing just that. I'm not even going to respond to that because uh, that's, that's beside the point. But the point migrant is, now, laborers now, are laborers. Now, uh, Congressman, now, that, that, now that, I, I, think, I think that there's something for all of us to see. Now, uh, Dr. Anderson and I believe the congressman want to say that the minimum wage law has no effect or just insignificant effect on teenage unemployment. But let's, let's anticipate what they're going to say with response to another question. You say, well, uh, let's have a sub-minimum wage law for young people. Now, what, both these guys will respond that they're against a the sub-minimum wage law because they'll give firms incentives to hire kids and fire the fathers. I'm quite sure that they're, they're going to say that. But if the minimum wage law has no effect, See, see, they want to they have it on both sides. They want to have the cake needed, too. First, they want to say it has no effect, and then we recommend a policy to deal with some of the effects of the minimum wage law. Then you're going to say, no, I'm against that because it will, it will cause unemployment among older people. So, which is it? Does well, the minimum wage law have an effect, I don't see or does where, it not? I don't see. I'm <laughs> well,